With France completed, it's time to resign as PSG manager, which was exactly what my dad wanted to hear because he immediately applied for my job as soon as I had left. And I was approached straight away by Bayern Munich, which I obviously declined. However, the leading candidate for the PSG job was Carlo Ancelotti, who is the current Real Madrid manager, which panicked dad a little bit, so he applied for the Bayern Munich job too. However, he was too late to the party and the interview process had ended, which of course worried my dad even more. Meanwhile, the Manchester United job was vacant again and they approached me and asked me to do an interview. A very tempting offer, as you can imagine, considering still I need the FA cut but I declined. Finally a response from PSG who invited dad for an interview though and it turned out Mikel Arteta took the Bayern Munich job but he had been without a club for the last two years since Arsenal sacked him and whatever dad said in his interview seemed to work as PSG approached him with an offer to become their first team manager and of course he immediately accepted. I was still without a club meanwhile as Kira McKenna took dad's old job at Nice. However, I was using my experience to wait as more jobs become available after the Euro, such as Real Sociedad. But I still felt I needed to wait for a better role to pop up. While dad was about to play his first game of the season against Nice. And it didn't go exactly how he wanted it to. But breaking news, I have found a new job. Dad, congratulations. You yeah. are the manager of PSG. But well played out. You had to move, didn't you? So I'm glad you're gone. It gives me a chance to get in France out of the way now. Yeah, absolutely. So, You've only got one thing to do I mean, win the league. I, 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 yeah, I got, well, I'll go for the Champions League as well. And I've got, I mean, you've made a brilliant squad there. So I, can I improve it? I don't know. I just got up that I, I win the league as well. Yeah. Really. I just that up. one task. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Very interesting turn of events happened this summer. You also applied for the Bayern Munich job, but came in a little yeah. bit too late. Well, I was a bit worried if I didn't get this job, because obviously just just by me applying for it, don't mean I'm going to get it. No. Nope. And there was a couple of favourites for it as well, wasn't there? So yeah. So I thought, oh, I'm going to just apply for the Bayern Munich job as well. Um, so that's what I've done, but I didn't get that job. That did I? No. <laughs> so quite lucky that you did get the PSG yeah. one. Okay, but that meant that I was off free... And I could go somewhere, <laughs> and I found a club. And I've even bought one of Dad's players, one of my former players. So, let's have a look. I am now the manager of Napoli. Yep. Yes. Congratulations, you're out of my skin. Get out yep. of <laughs> I ain't got to worry about you now. Off to Italy. <laughs> now, there was loads of movement again. Yeah, there was, yeah. Uh, there was only two managerial jobs that I was really interested in that came up. Real Sociedad was one of them. And I did apply for that and got an interview. Yeah. But the Napoli one came up at the same time and I took that role before Sociedad ever come back to me. So yeah. I could have gone to Sociedad and, and at the same time as well, we were looking at it. And if I never had the Napoli one, I would have gone just for a simple reason. The Sociedad team is good. They didn't have no money. Napoli had £50 million because they just sold a player. But Marco Rose took... Yeah. The Sociedad job after, of course, leading Cologne to the Bundesliga title. Yeah. So Sociedad has a really good side right now. They've got Borenskia on the, the wing. They've got Brace Mendes still. They've got Oyatabao, uh, Mikel Moreno. However, they are slightly older yeah. than what I would be trying to go for if I could obviously pick and choose. So Napoli was by number one, but they still have a good team. And they finished in third last season in the, the La Liga. So they were the third best team outside of the two big ones in El Clasico. You could have took that on and maybe won a cup. That's yeah. all I was thinking when I was going for it. And you're there just in case one of the big two do have a bad season. And you know you can and you be, can be the, the cause of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but now instead, I went to Napoli, and I think that was a good decision. Napoli's manager previously uh, was Kurt Consensal, and he went to Leipzig. And that is because Jose Mourinho went to Portugal. Again, it's all the merry-go-round that yeah. was happening. Um, the butterfly effect, as we like to say. So Consensal actually won a Serie A not too long ago which was the 2027 season so two seasons ago he won with this napoli side they don't have kravitz scalia anymore as i said i had 50 million pound and i brought in one player two players actually one player from dad's team yeah. gonzalo ramos and it's a first for any series yeah. whatsoever yeah we've had players where we have signed them after they've left the club of each other so we've had the same player in uh, in a versus rebuild or a series 
but this is the first time ever we have physically bought a player off each other. Well, it was quite funny, really, because he was the one player that I sort of picked out that I would, I could possibly sell to generate some more money for me, wouldn't it? Yeah. And there was offers coming in all the time for him, wasn't it? And that just wasn't enough. And then, Gus, you said, of course, I need a striker. I said, well, you come up with a good price. And, we'll, we'll, and we were sat here talking about a good price feature before yeah. we went on the computer to do it. He absolutely <laughs> ripped me off. 45.5 million pounds. You said 47, but yeah, I got you yeah. down to 45. Yeah. Uh, but it's paid off because he's got four in four so far. More than what he did last season under me. <laughs> <laughs> More in the last two seasons what he did under me, to be fair. So, yeah, so far it's paid off. Gonzalo Ramos, I think, is a quality striker. And for this Napoli side, I really needed that type of quality. Like speak the offside trap. I've got Raspadori here still. My, my side is still, still good. Uh, I've also signed Joachim Anderson from Fiorentina, who got relegated. Another job that came up, and I decided it was nowhere near good enough for me to take. Uh, they got relegated and came back up. Uh, Anderson was at that club, age 32. So... I think it's a good good sign as a backup centre back. I'm, you know, I'm hopefully I'm not here for too long. But I did sell Diakabe uh, to Real Madrid for 24 million pound. Kravitz Galia left before I joined, which is the reason why they had the 15 million pound. But I'm actually not too bothered by it. No. And there's a good reason. They've got a very good squad, to be fair. So tactically, let's start off with myself. I've gone for a four triple two with a uh, a long. DM, and that's because we've got Angisa, who is absolutely incredible. And if you look at my best 11, Antonio Nusa is the reason why I was okay with losing Kravitz Galia. He's really good. Yeah. Plays on both sides. He's fantastic. On the other side, you might recognize this man too. Rooney Baji's there, which is quite good. Raspadori up front with Ramos. Very good indeed. Lukas Sucic. This, this team is basically built by somebody like Spondikits. Kids. Because <laughs> uh, that's what I'm seeing right here. Of course, Fofana is a player that yeah. you sold to Napoli. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Not too long ago when you were at Chelsea. And we've also got Valentin Barco sat on the bench. Who, remember, has just signed uh, for a new club in real life. And everybody's going on about it. Brighton. Yeah. So, there we go. Some interesting stuff happened for me. Uh, and it's been a very good start. But I won't spoil it too much. You can see some of the other other players that I've got in my team. I've got a big squad. Nicholas Jackson's here as well. So there's another player that both me and Dad have used, but he's just not quite there. That is, he's not very good at all. Dad, you went to PSG. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of money. No. However, you I did make some signings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you sold eventually Marquinhos for nine million pound. Uh, Ramos, obviously for forty-five. Did you sell anybody else? I can't remember if you did or not. I don't think you did. No. Uh, but you signed one player, Mateus Cunha. And there's a reason for it. Two reasons, really. One, I had to replace Ramos. Yeah. And I think he's better. But two, I wanted to make sure they were weaker this time. <laughs> <laughs> Weak in his own team, niece. Because, I mean, you have played against them twice already. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not giving too much away. No. £89 million was a lot of money. But again, if he's going to go into your, your lineup and weaken the side, then arguably that's worth the money. Yeah. Tactically, again, very attacking, but you have to be bold with this. Well, when I put in the best 11, it, all those players that you'd already bought were already in there, weren't they? So yeah. I just, just sort of like, just moved it around a little bit, but kept them all in. So it's still a very attacking side, but very good side. And all the best players was in in their right positions really yeah for sure I think mine was slightly different I had a left midfielder yeah. here and a centre midfielder but it's quite quite different in terms of mentality and a couple of the instructions are oh, different and then you can see that that striker I've just bought is probably not going to go into my first team but no. what a reserve to have in there and I've oh, got, yeah, sure. got Fatty as well haven't I yeah and Su Fatty who yeah. obviously comes off on the bench um as, a, as an um, unbelievable words advance forward really so yeah. you've got two really good because I mean he's only he's, he's actually started four games on Su Fatty and yeah. he's got you three goals and an assist so as backups go that's not bad no, at all is it definitely not so very good indeed great lineup very interesting start though because it won a great start was it no you I beat them in the trophy de champions when I got that result I thought that's brilliant at least I know I've got a good side there and a good tactic and yeah. I thought right first league game I should beat them again drew and one on I drew one on I thought oh no <laughs> and I was at home as well what the hell's going on here yeah uh, a draw away to Marseille as well I think Marseille is going to be the team that's going to be chasing me as well so I, I, I sort of took that one on the chin and sort of thought alright then yeah you know they're, they're going to be one of my competitors so one of your it. old favourites from Notts County who yeah. done you as well in the 91st yeah. minute. Sod. 
<laughs> but then but you went that, on and you stuffed Leon 4-0. Yeah, after that, so I was I'm quite happy now. Yeah, and, and, I, and, I got, gets and I got that another striker in off them, so it makes them a little bit weaker. So Yeah, absolutely. So your Champions League fixtures, because remember, you're still going for I've, Champions League, yeah, as I'm, am I. I've got a big chance for this now. So. Yeah, for sure. That's what. That's the one downside, I think, with my move, although I need to go to a new league, obviously, to open up chances of completing trophies in Glory Hunter. I've gone to a weaker side, yeah. Champions League-wise. Yeah. They were they weren't in Europa League or anything like that, so it would have been a genius move if they're in Europa oh, yeah. League. I mean, we have got to definitely be in one of the top six or seven sides to try and win that Champions yeah. League. Yeah, me. So absolutely, and I, and I think I definitely am with the squad that I've got. So yeah, I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't get at least at semi finals. Yeah, I think this. The, I generally think Glory Hunter doesn't really kick off in terms of one of us is going to be really chasing until one of us wins the Champions League. Yeah. Or Europa League. If you, one of us wins Europa League, I oh. think it could be curtains for the other one. Yeah. Because that's the hardest, the hardest one, one to get, one to get into, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So, I mean, right now, obviously, I'm ahead in terms of trophies, but I don't feel like I have a big advantage. No. Because you're more, cha- you're more likely to win the Champions League right now. I've got a bit of a build, I think. Yeah. Because I, I think, think, I think the best aren't... thing for me to happen was when I won in England, both of them. Yeah, the and in the, one the go, FA bang, yeah. done. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, you're not in Germany, but I think there's a, f- there's about three or four teams in Germany you could do that with. Yeah, where in England you've got to be, you've got to be one of the top three or four. Yeah, you know, so it's going to be. And I still got to go back here. Yeah, to win both as well. And yeah, that's right. You got to go back. Ain't yeah, you? yeah, I've got to go back to that one. Uh, so that's your Champions League fixtures. Again, you should definitely go through. Uh, let's have a look at my fixtures so far. Look, I am actually top of Serie A, and I haven't dropped any points, and I've scored a lot of goals too. But I haven't played anybody good yet. No. And that's the the only problem. Four nil, four one, three one, four one. However, my first couple of hard games are all in the next month. I would say, look at your all, all the. Four or well, five games there, like they're all hard, yeah. really, really. I would say. So it's annoying because I have, I, I'm, I don't know whether this this tactic <laughs> works or not yet. Uh, I've got all of the hard fixtures about to come: Lazio and Inter Milan and Juve, just in the league alone, and then I've got some difficult ones in the Champions League. Speaking of which, my Champions League fixtures: Rangers, Man City, Atletico Madrid, Basel, Chelsea, Liverpool. A lot of English clubs in yeah. there. Feyenoord and FCSB. I should go through. I think I'll probably struggle to get in the top eight, but I'd like to think I can get in the playoff. And to be honest, it's not really a target for me right now. My target is to get as close as I possibly can to the Serie A title and as close as I possibly can to the Coppa Italia and mark one of them off. And if I can leave Napoli and Italy within a couple of seasons, I think I've done extremely well. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I don't think there's a club in Italy, because of the money situation, mm. that I could potentially build a Champions League winning side. I think it's down to... <laughs> well, I'm hoping I'm only going to be at Paris for one season and I'm gone again. <laughs> yeah. I think, I generally think right now, my only chances of winning a Europa League or a Champions League is if I go back to England when I go for the FA Cup. Yeah. I think I might be the only way. And we are, I did had a chance to do that with Manchester United. I got mm. off the job interview. Yeah, you did, yeah. But didn't really fancy it. Okay, then. Very eventful summer. Are we going to have an eventful season? Well, there's only one way to find out. Maybe there'll be a couple of jobs that come up. But I very much doubt either of us are going to be taking it right now. But possibly you might have some money in the January. So we'll have yep. to find out. Yep. Let's see what happens. So surprise, I am now in Italy and things are off to a great start at Napoli. And the decision to sign Ramos from my father might have been a stroke of genius. Because we are up there challenging with both strikers in the top three scorers of the season. And in the January, I was checking the end of contract options for next season and PSG's Cola Moani was there. So I thought I'd give it a go. However, an example of the money difference in Italy become very apparent. Speaking of PSG, Dad was quietly going about his business in charge in an attempt to complete France ASAP. Well, 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 Dad, you've got it done. Hey. Unbeaten as well. Unbeaten. Fair enough. Well done. How many uh, points clear? 22 points? 22 points clear. Unbeaten as well. It also looks like you defeated your previous team, Nice, <laughs> in the Coupe de France final. You yeah, did. Yeah. Obviously, you already won it with them two years previously, yep. but you got the job done. 3-1 in the final there as well. So you completely dominated France. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> what a great achievement. Well, let's, let's, put it, let's put it this way. I would have been very disappointed if I hadn't won the league. There. Yeah, so absolutely. You've done me a favour by building such a good squad. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. 
so you completely dominated in the player statistics as well, outside of clean sheets, funny enough, although your old goalkeeper <laughs> yeah. was in there. Uh, and even your tactic came back and you started getting yellow cards again, which is, yeah. of course, what you love doing. So very good. Obviously, there was another trophy that you were involved yeah. in. Did you manage to win that one? No. Quarterfinal by Bayern Munich. The team oh. that turned you down. Yeah, I was disappointed with this because... When I played them the first leg, I beat them. 5-2. And they stuffed me 5-1. Lost 5-1. Yeah. That's also the same leg that I was eliminated as well, as you can see there. Lost 4-0 in the away leg. I was 2-1 up as well. Looking at the teams that remained in it, I, I, apart from Man City, really, I would have been favourite. I would have been, well, disappointed if I didn't get to the final then, yeah. I think. Final is still to be played between Bayern yeah. Munich and Manchester City. Okay. Fair enough. That's very good from you. It looks like you completely dominated. You've got Mbappe on 52 goals out of 52. Awesome number 35. A lot of goals scored, but it's time to wave goodbye, I think, I guess, for, well, uh, I, for I, that, unless you want to go not, for another season. I'm not going to stay there just to try and win the Champions League. I'd rather try and go somewhere else and get into another country now and try and yeah. win something else. In one season, and he's out. Yeah. He's I'm... gone. Even I lasted longer there. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we always said France was going to be... You either had to get PSG or you had to build a really good squad with yeah. the other teams and PSG have a bad season yeah well I built I built a good squad with Nice didn't I yeah but PSG didn't have a bad season did they no nope. and you built you built such a good team with them but I was silly not to take it over yeah get in there get, anybody get else job done, done the same yeah get in there get job done and get out again alright okay let's have a look then how did I get on because of course my first season in Italy and second place Five points. Five points behind Inter Milan, who are the champions. I lost Unlucky. eight games. Yeah, that's what cost you. Yeah, both against Inter Milan. That's what cost you, isn't it? Yeah. Two games against them, is six points. <sighs> Never mind. Uh, Gonzalo Ramos got 21 goals. The time Martinez from Inter Milan got a goal more. But Skamaka, who genuinely serious right now, I looked at signing before I went for Gonzalo Ramos. Got 27 at Atalanta, who finished on the exact same points as me. Uh, I had a much higher goal difference, though, than the other teams around me so that's one thing going for me I guess but remember in Italy if you land on the same points it doesn't matter you've got to play a playoff yeah which is quite interesting yeah uh, Raspadori was also up there for the highest average rating and we had Barco and Bargi up there for the highest assists nice one and Murray got 14 clean sheets but it was nowhere near Mike Magnan's 20 in fifth place you bet he AC Milan uh, he was disappointed wasn't he yeah <laughs> Uh, they go into the Europa League, funny enough. All right, so what about the Coppa Italia? Did I get my hands on that in the first season? No. Semi-final by Milan. AC Milan. Yeah. Oh, I was beating them in the first leg as well. They stuffed me 5-0 in the oh, second leg. So you got leg. done the same as me, really. Yeah. After winning the first leg. And Inter done the domestic double. Yeah. Oh, that's a hard one to take. Being so close to the final like that, obviously quarter final by Chelsea. Let's have a look at the Champions League group stage. Then you dominated it, losing one to Inter Milan. Yeah. Uh, I finished in eleventh place. I lost two final to Man City and drew two. Oh, that's a bad draw, Luke. Yeah. Uh, but still, I would have gone through roughly about the same place anyway. Then into the knockout playoff round, I eliminated Lons, French team. You obviously had already qualified through that part. Uh, I knocked out Real Madrid next. What a result that is! Wow. And you knocked out Atalanta before we you know, both eliminated You think them being final. knocked out that early, that's like um, second man the second the manager's job, really, isn't it? Well, yeah. They're not usually happy about being knocked out that early, are they? Not at all. Still Carlo, though. Yeah. Because they are winning the league. They yeah, won the league by a point really, this season. Ooh, that's really it's problem, close. Isn't it? Uh, Real Sociedad. Any shocks there, then, that we can be looking at? Finishing in fifth place. That's Villarreal. The one that's the yeah, one Villarreal down. down in ninth. Yeah, there's a Real couple. Real that down there as well. Because, of course, now you've got to start looking for these jobs. Yeah. You gotta start seeing what's going on because right now, job security, there's two jobs available. One of them is in Spain, Real Batiste. I think they're a bit too far down. Yeah. They got the uh, current new Spurs centre back there, though. Dragerson. Uh Yeah, I think they may be a little bit too far down for you to, to rescue them right now. They don't have a lot of money. There's a few insecure clubs. Marco Rose at Real Sociedad and Villarreal is also there. There's some Spanish options. Just nothing jumps out, though, at the moment, is it? No. But of course, when you leave your post... That's the thing, isn't it? If I could do the same as you, just resign and just sit back and wait. Yeah. And see what pops up. So that might be the best thing to go for. Or do I stay go for the Champions League? Well, that's it. You've got a team worthy enough to beat the, win the Champions League. What I did League. notice, though, was a lot of my players are getting quite old. 
Yeah. And they're coming to the end of their contracts and they're all agreeing to leave. Yeah. So I don't know whether PSG would be such a good or strong side as they will this season as they will next season, totally. And your budget is dreadful. Yeah. Minus 1.1 million. I mean, just go on, just go so on to my squad no then and see what, what players were coming to the end of their contracts. I mean, you already have Muani, who said he was leaving, Lucas Hernandez, who's leaving, Fabian's leaving, yeah. and Laporte. So that's four players. Age-wise, if you look at the team, majority of the team, in, all the way down to maybe Ugate. Yeah. That's is, a lot of players, uh, isn't it? Close to 30. So, yeah. It's a lot, lot of the players. starting team. Yeah. So, I'd... it's probably the right time to go. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Probably the right time to leave right now. And like you said, we could we could start something by by me resigning and another manager coming in. Hopefully, they start a merry go round again. Yeah, absolutely. My squad then, let's have a look. Goals wise, Gonzalo Ramos was my top scorer. So that was a good buy from me. He's also wanted now by. I'm pleased with that because it didn't affect me, but it, it sort of helped you out, really. Yeah. So I'm pleased with that one. You're not supposed to be helping me out. Yeah, but it, did, it helped me out, though, in the long run, didn't it? Because I needed anyway, to get rid of him. Anyway, you yeah. couldn't get rid of him. No. Uh, 22 goals from Raspadori of 14 assists. That was good. But where do I improve? There's a couple of positions that I think I could get a little better in, but I would need the money, and that's the trouble. And I have just £12 million right now. Your wage budget's good, though. Yeah, unfortunately, they had already agreed to get Nicholas Jackson on a permanent. I wouldn't have done that myself, because he got six goals and three assists. I, I didn't like him when he was at Chelsea, did I? Nah, I when he was at Chelsea. Don't like his uh, off-the-ball and composure. It's just nah. absolutely woeful. There we go. But I, I think I'm I'm happy with in my in my position right now. Although I did say that when I was at Newcastle, and look what happened then. <laughs> the perfect job opportunity <laughs> pops up, and I'll tell you if the perfect job opportunity did pop up at one of the two big clubs in Spain. I think even, I would have to go for the it. The other thing we didn't mention really was we did come back in January as well to check on everything as well, and everything was going. There was just no jobs available. Was there? there was no, nothing. Was there's nothing that was sort of tempting for one of us to leave after yeah. through a season. I mean, I was never going to leave anyway. I mean, I was, what was I? You are like 15 points 15 clear, points you, by clear January? Then. Yeah, so I didn't want to move anyway, but there was nothing available then, was there? No. So I think, it's gonna, I think it's going to have to be, you're just going to have to wait to see what we do. Yeah, but we do have one trophy to add to a trophy cabinet. So let's take a look at those Glory Hunter cabinets, shall we? Yes, although a good first season in Italy happened, nothing to add to the trophy cabinet this season. However, it's Dad's time to shine as he finally completes France and wins the league title with PSG. But still, six seasons complete and neither of us have won a European trophy yet, or even come close. And while I'm occupied in Italy with Napoli, Dad resigning from PSG could once again cause a huge merry-go-round that he could favour from. 